This video is about the panono and how to stitch it offline manually or fix stitching errors. So the panono is one of my favorite 360 cameras because it has a very high resolution, the highest among um, current 360 cameras. Here's a sample photo as you can see it's extremely detailed and the dynamic range is excellent and I didn't even use HDR for this one I just use the standard dynamic range so the only issue with the panono is that the stitching is usually not perfect so here for example uh, you can see a stitching error and this is hard to fix and it's a little unpredictable whether you're gonna get an error or not so the solution is to use a third-party program uh, that I found that works. It's called Panorama Studio Pro 3. And um, here I'm going to demonstrate how to use it. So first we open the uh, panorama that we're going to fix. In this case, uh, in this photo it looks okay except that if you look at my son's head, it's a little chopped off. So. I'm going to scroll down and download the UPF file. So the UPF is like a single file that actually consists of all the individual photos. So um, after you download the UPF file, you open it using uh, Panono's uh, free UPF converter. It's in their download center under tools. Uh, you'll find it there. So you launch UPF Converter and then you open that UPF file that you just downloaded. It's usually in your downloads folder. So you drag the file to the right side and then uh, below that you specify the directory where you want to save it. Then you click on convert. Within a few seconds the the UPF converter will extract all the individual photos from your UPF file. Once the conversion is done, the next step is to open Panorama Studio Pro. In Panorama Studio Pro, the first step is to create a multi-row panorama. Then click on the import button and then you'll find your photos in the subdirectory that was created for each UPF file that you converted. So um, in this case I used an HDR shot so there are 108 photos but in this case I'm only going to stitch the uh, normal exposure from the HDR and in it starts with a prefix of number one um, and there are 36 of them so here are the shots the next step is to click on parameters and then specify the focal length of 32 millimeters plus minus 30 percent Below that, under camera type, choose digital camera. Then under lens type, choose regular low distortion. And then under advanced options, click on very high for quality. Then click OK. Now that we've entered the parameters, we can click on align. And then we can wait for the uh, software to align the images. So during alignment, what the software does is look for uh, commonalities between the shots and then try to assemble this jigsaw puzzle into a unified whole. So here's the aligned image. It looks kind of rough, but on the whole it works. So to refine the alignment, you go to edit and then click on image alignment. Then we can select the individual pieces that of the photo that need to be adjusted. So in this case, what I want to do is focus on my son's 
uh, face because that was the error in the Panono photo. So I want to fix it and then um, later on I'm going to use layer masking to combine the images. So here I'm aligning the images manually and making sure that uh, my son's face is correctly aligned. You would do the same for other parts of the photo to fix them, but I'm not going to do that here. Uh, so when you're done, just click on render and then it's going to render the actual photo, which will have a finer uh, stitching. So after a couple of minutes, the rendering should be done. So here's the rendered image and you can see that my son's head is now uh, correctly stitched. So uh, I would lay, do a layer mask on, against the uh, photo that was stitched by Ponono to choose the best parts from each photo and combine them to make a perfectly stitched photo. So if you look at the whole image you'll see that there are parts where there are stitching errors and that's where you have to be careful in the previous step where you align the images. The important thing is that the errors in this render are probably not going to be the same errors that will be in the Panono stitch. So again, you can use layer masking to combine the best parts of both image to produce a perfect stitch. I hope you found this video helpful. My name is Mick and you've been watching 360rumors.com, your first daily news on 360 cameras and VR since February of 2016, with over 1400 articles to date. Please don't forget to hit the like button and uh, if you want more tips on 360 cameras and VR, please subscribe to this channel. Also check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash 360rumors and please visit our website 360rumors.com. Thanks for watching.